straight to short fine. Most economical bowler in the tournament. Oh, that's a scoop. That's a scoop. Don't miss that. I don't think he has missed it. I reckon he's hit it for six. They're going to check. The crowd wants six. That ball was pretty much right on the stumps. He just took it away from it. Opened up. Find yourself in a Lord's final. Pulled away. We now have our second six to the tavern stand. Wow. That is classic Paul Sterling. That ball sat up halfway down the pitch. He was waiting for that, Sterling. He was on the back foot. He'd set the bowling machine on short and he was pulling it. That was towards the scoreboard. Scoop. Fine leg there, up in the circle. Should be out. It is. First wicket for the impressive Mill. And the dangerous Quinton de Cox gone. Hit over mid on, hit over long on, hit for six. 20 balls gone, 24 for one. How? Oh, out into the leg side. He just stands and admires as that comes just in front of the pod. So we uh, Full ball, free swing of the bat. He's coming towards the pod. 92 meters. Yeah. On him. Right through the gate. He went for the sweet shot. Imran to here is off. Imran to here into the action, getting rid of the dangerous fence. And as he enjoyed it, he's patting his chest. He's kissing to the crowd. Getting into this game. Yeah. As you see, Vince there, uh, Shane Wall called it. Just sat next to him, he said Vince will be on the sweep. Picked up, not a great delivery, shorter boundary that side. Oh, oh. Out into the leg side, he stands again and he has a watch. And he knows as soon as that comes out of the bat, Sterling. Good shot, just a proper cricket shot on that occasion. Just the cut that he waited for and picked his gap perfectly. And again, can cover get to that? No. This is outstanding from Sterling. Sterling's going. Is he? Is he out? He's gone big. No, he's not. It's at the ground. Brings up the 50. The big man turn up for this moment. Final full house at Lords. He saw his captain go, he saw Quinton the Cock goes, and he's stepping up to the plate. Good squad, Lords, last time they were here. Goes again. The connection's good, the connection's very good. The connection gets another six. Ball still in. <laughs> it's gone. It's out. It's wide. He's trying to cut it away. Benny Howe, as he's done all of the hundreds so far, but he's got to go. Just keeping it wide. That's a brilliant catch. Oh, it goes big. He's announced his arrival, Darren Sammy, and he's announced it in style. That's what I like to see. Yep, he's a smacker. That's a monster. Big bada boom. The 2020 vision, bro. There it is. Look at it. Look at it go. Livingston getting some. Wide. I think this is out. It should be. It is. Clever from Livingston. Very, very smart. You're going to hit me to the leg side, I'm going to top it up outside the offside. If you come for it, I'm going to get you, and he gets his man. Tossing that one outside. You are stumped. Catch! Oh, win to out. Over extra cover, good batting. Got to take advantage of the part-timer, Ross White. He will do that. This is his role. This is exactly what he wants to do. 
to the leg side as he picked the gap. Yes, perfectly in the end. Both fielders diving for the ball. Quicker ball. Puts the ball forward, nowhere near the middle of the bat. Oh, that doesn't matter though, because that has just crept over Pat Brown. Straight down the ground this time. He is a very, very dangerous cricketer, is Whiteley. If he gets going, he can hurt anyone. Half volley in the slot, say hit me, and he did. You've got to have a plan. You can't, this tired stage of the game, you have to have a plan. Again, down the ground, hit hard, hit really hard. Excellent batting from Whiteley. Good striking this, he went for the change up, the fast slip, he went for the Yorker, didn't quite get it right, and Whiteley was good enough. He loves the leg side, and he loves the ramp shot, the ramp shot for six. Yeah, this is a poor set so far, 6-4, six, 1-6. Six. He wants to knock around, where was going to get his boundary, that's his shot, the ramp, fine leg was up. Had to be wide of off stump and let him hit to the field. He couldn't let him allow him to play that shot. Straight to him, ran to here. He was up, he knew exactly what he was doing, Davies. He just wanted to beat third man who was in the circle, but he couldn't. Straight down the ground again. He just stands with that flourish. He knew as well as soon as he hit that. Sterling did it earlier. Whiteley is doing it now. Pressure on Pennington. They gone bang. Oh, now a bit of rubber the green. Can you believe it? Not fair, but it's another boundary. Oh, have a look at that. That has gone into the crowd. Well, the old slow ball half volley at your pads. No, there's only two balls to go. If a couple more boundaries, the difference between 170 and maybe 175, 180 and 175, or even more with a couple of sixes. Oh. Oh. Thought he's going to get it back onto the stumps. Just came off the pad, sort of went all around the bat, the glove, bit of everything in it. Is that our key? They hit the stumps and they lit up, but the bales I don't think came off. It's a good attack as well. They have Garton, the left arm, and Mills with pace and slower balls. Overton experience. Down the pitch, Beddingham. Oh, has he got it? What a grab! What a catch that is! Tim David at backward point. Brilliant hand. Sliced away, backward point. Oh, excellent. Millimeters off the ground. Yep, he gets hold of it. It's not the middle, but it'll do. Another five done. It's 11 for one. Correction, seven for one. Pulled away beautifully. Pulled away for six. Has it been caught in the crowd? They're claiming it. We're going to review it. He's claiming it. Been some good crowd catches. That should be gone. You could see that coming a mile off. The pressure was getting to the young 19 year old. Splice to the bat, every ball. And again, there we go. Whoa, right up into the boxes. Sitting there having a cup of tea, having a beer, and suddenly Livingston's hit it into your box. Look at that, he said nothing shot. This one was slightly shot. 94 meters was the answer. And again, same result, not as far. Same score, six more. Levy, Levy. Uh-oh. Shot straight down the ground. One bounce for... He's going into beast mode, 20 off 11, Livingston. See, that's not a bad ball either, wrong and at leg stump. He's a bit unlucky there, and might run away for four. 
and that's just a bit unlucky. But I don't mind even that leg stump wrongens or outside his eye line off stump and let him try and hit you inside out over cover. Two boundaries, three, two balls left. Here comes the beast. 30 off 13. It's very hard to bowl a set of 10 to Livingston. When you're bowling to someone like this, as Livingston, as dangerous as this, if you give him 10 balls in a row, he's going to get you a couple of times. You sense he's gone into beast mode. He wants to keep going. One ball to go. Oh, a bit of rubber the green for the aggressive Livingston. An edge went over the keeper of De Kock. 168 they need. Oh, hello! Hello! Oh, it's another one! Didn't quite get it all, but it's still six. I'm laughing because you look at Liam Livingston's face and he's sort of grimacing as if, oh, I didn't quite get it, mate. It's still a six. Straight and bang up down the ground. You can't stop that. That just hit too hard. That's ferocious. Excellent shot again from Livingston. And again, now has he got all of it or is he going to land safe? Oh, good effort. He went for the catch in the deep and it was worth the effort when it's Livingston. Oh, well, hang on. This could be out. This is lazy running from Livingston. I reckon he's gone. What a piece of fielding. What a throw from the boundary. I reckon he's gone. The game turns so quickly. It's Tim David. He's done some good fielding today. Just skid it on. Let's have a look. No way he's gone. Looks like an inch or two. Oh, that's a biggie. Well, the beast might be going, but Moen Alley is following. That's gone miles. That'll wow. get him going, Ebbs. Ball from Mills. Short into the next side. Oh! What a catch! George Garton, one of the fast bowlers, diving to his left. Good he is in the field. Mel short ball latches onto it, Hammond. But look at that. Makes good ground. Dive into his left. Better than anyone. Moran Alley into the next side. Oh, brilliant from Moran Alley. Two fielders out there, but that is placed perfectly. Gets it all the way as well. Oh, Mo goes big, but he hasn't got anywhere near. Enough of that, Moran Alley. He now goes. Livingston has gone. Moran Alley has gone. This is massive for the Southern Brave. Unfortunately, the Moen Alley coming down the pitch. Lintock pulling it back a little bit, quite short, doesn't get all of it. Hit leg side, he's going to try and do it again. That's a good start. Scoop. Scoops away over fine leg. Excellent manoeuvring of the field. away that will go away for four yeah, I think the ECB can be very very happy with what they've produced we'll go again away for four this is not going to be a close game by any stretch of the imagination but a lot of the games have been close it's like game it's going down to the last set of five More like it, he's back. Back with the wide Yorkers. It's away for four, and they won't care one bit. They celebrate Mahela's brave boys take the first hundred comp. The men's hundred goes to the Southern Brave. They have not lost in their last seven, they've gone on a run, they are unbeaten. They are the best side by far in this comp. The champions of the first ever men's hundreds. Congratulations, Southern Brave!